So this is our first site on our Scotland tour. Not been here before, it's the Woods Caravan and Lodge Park. It's affiliated to the uh, Caravan the Caravan and Motorhome Club. It's on what is quite a busy B road, but uh, don't hear it generally. Across the way is an on-site restaurant which we're going to use tonight, The Woodsman. The site is open all year evidently and although we've only just arrived it seems very very nice, very impressed so far. This is the site entrance which is also shared with the restaurant as car park. Uh, doesn't seem a lot of restaurant car parking here but um, there we are. To the right there is the uh, reception area and there's a small shop things here and this is where the arrivals park is. The site is quite large, it also has not just tours but also lodges and uh, as you can see that's the that's the reception area. Very pleasant. In the background are hills. This is near Stirling and Allo at the site. Uh, there's lots of history around here, the Wallace Monument and Stirling Castle to mention two things. But, uh, there's also some beautiful mountain scenery. When we arrived on the site the, um, the visibility was very poor and uh, we didn't actually appreciate that we're surrounded on this part of side of the site by mountain, which is uh, rather lovely actually. The site has a Wi-Fi system, which you uh, which is run by a private company, and you can purchase vouchers from that. We haven't actually tried that ourselves because we come with our own system and our phone reception as well. The hotspot is very good here, so we haven't had to worry about Wi-Fi. Somebody just arriving. The site also, as well as having touring facilities, has uh, lodges which people can rent out and these are very nice actually, they're very comfortable, not sure what the price is that. Very nice. Sheldon is located over there. Good sized pitches, hard standing as I said. There is a fresh water point here and bins. But the um, main waste disposal water point is further on about where that caravan's parked now. Just take you down there. There's two facilities blocks, service blocks. Uh, one to my left, and another further down in the site. I'm not going to take you around those, but they uh, sensibly leave one open whilst the other one's being cleaned, which is uh, a rather helpful thing to do. So uh, there is always a toilet block available.
more lodges over there and around and this is what they call the lower pitches as you can see from the side there that's the waste disposal that's the nearest one to us anyway and that's the one way system you go out I'll just take you down here and you can see the panorama which is quite glorious when uh, when you can see it which of course we weren't able to when we arrived but, uh, it really is very nice here not too nice here and then we move further north so there we are at sea uh, along mountainous strip drops off there and you can see in the distance more caravans and uh, it's quite a large site just hone in further down then you can appreciate how far it goes There's down the bottom in the distance those are uh, mainly grass pitches and uh, but well serviced and that big grey building to the left there is the second toilet block. The lodges are to the left of that as we look. That's the other service block. Very nice and well worth a stay. If you cross the road just from the entrance to the site you come to this uh, historic tower it's called the Sorky Tower it's in disrepair now but obviously has had uh, a great history so uh, I'll just turn you around and give you a look this area seems to be full of towers and ancient monuments there is in fact something called a tower trail that covers this particular area. Of course you've got a lot of other history including the Wallace, Wallace Monument and Stirling Castle to name but two other things. This uh, board here gives you some of the background to Sorky Tower. Sorky is the area we, uh, the, the, the site is situated and it uh, speaks in the early days of Robert of Bruce 1321 granting the lands of the area to Henry de Annand and Mary his descendant and she married Sir James Shaw of Brenock and he probably built this tower soon after their marriage and uh, that's that was the original history of it and it's had uh, quite an interesting time over the years I won't go into the details you can see it on the board yourself if you wish to but um, it's largely in disrepair now but obviously it was very impressive see the work above there from the stonemasons and you walk around I believe also the the place was much bigger in the former days walk around and you can see it from the other aspect uh, it's a monument obviously in need of some tender loving care but uh, quite uh, quite interesting all the same that's just across the road from the site. Walk further up this lane and there's another monument which is worth noting. And I'll show you that in a moment. I walked a few hundred yards up the lane as I said I would do and I've come now to the next point of interest which is um, a winding house. Uh, I'll turn you around and you'll be able to see it yourself.
Evidently in former days there was mining activity here and from what I can see of it this dates back to the 1860s, 70s when it was originally built. It's had uh, a mixed history I think since then, particularly in the uh, 20th century, but um, it is a uh, rather grand building. Again, one that's in disrepair, but it's good to see the beam engine there still. As you walk around the side, which we're going to do now, you come to a plaque which actually tells you by the door what it was. I've no idea what they were mining here. I guess it probably was coal, but uh, can confirm that. Perhaps you can see there a plaque on the wall which says Devon Beam Engine House. And there have been numerous attempts, I think, to uh, restore the building, but at the moment it's, uh, it's in need of uh, more tender loving care like the Sorky Tower we saw earlier. But all these things are just a few hundred yards away from the site. Well our time at the woods has now just about come to an end. Uh, it's time to move further north. Must admit we've enjoyed our time here. It's a very nice site, uh, a good location and fine facilities. And um, we're looking forward to some time coming back as the sign says on the exit gate, hasty back. And I think we probably will. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you've uh, enjoyed it. Um, we look forward to joining you again. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to like the video and then to click the notifications. Thank you once again and so until next time, cheerio.